Hey guys, okay, so when I discuss politics, there are usually two main themes I tend to focus on. One, the destruction of the family and relationships. And number two, the destruction of culture and the nation. Whether it be Canada's push for multiculturalism or the EU imposing fines on countries who refuse to take on migrants, I usually tend to talk about whether this is a good or a bad thing. What I don't usually address, and this is something I am asked constantly, is why? Why would governments or big government ideologues on the left want to destroy the family institution? Why would they want communities to be less homogenous? And why would they want individual nations to not have their own unique identities? What motive could they possibly have for doing these horribly destructive things? It's a question I have spent a lot of time pondering, and it really came together for me a few months ago when I saw a tweet from an account called Curators of Sweden. It's a government account where one individual is selected at random to tweet for a week under the handle Sweden as a citizen representing their nation. But really what it appears to be is just a hand-selected bunch of individuals who spew far-left nonsense the entire time. Seriously, you almost never see anything on that account critical of left-wing Swedish policies. One individual they had running the account named Sarah was asked by a user to tell them three unique things about Sweden. And the tweet that came after this genuinely shocked me. We don't believe in God. We trust state more than family, and we eat sweet jam together with meat. Why would any government want someone propagating those ideas about their nation using taxpayer dollars? And how could anyone think this is something worth bragging about? Well, to explain it, I'm going to have to do a little thought experiment, so bear with me. If you really think about it, where do you go to in your time of need? When you're most desperate, who do you look to? I personally go to my family. They offer me a shoulder to cry on, a place to stay, a hot meal to eat, and they are overall a therapeutic force in my life. I go to my community. I ask them for support, maybe a job or a cup of sugar. I go to them for help and I return the favor if they need it. And I think for most people, even those who ordinarily reject religion, when all else is gone and stripped away, we look to God and we pray. Many who are homeless or desperate go to the church, which offers outreach. These are pillars of our lives. They give people guidance, a sense of comfort, and a sense of safety. Now, fast forward to a world where progressive politics has won. The nuclear family has been broken for the most part, and people feel disconnected from their mothers and fathers. They have no intention of getting married or even being monogamous for that matter. Most millennials are now single professionals living in a high rise at 38 years old with no kids or spouse. Their neighbors, eh, mostly migrants who are very different culturally. They don't talk much. In fact, many don't even speak the same language. The local church no longer offers much support and is soon to be replaced by some brutalist government office. And the only thing close to a unique identity an individual has comes down to what gender they decide to be that day, or what superficial hair color they use to try to make up for a total lack of personality. At least there's Netflix, truly the opiate of the masses. So if things get tough, where are you going to go? If there's an earthquake, a hurricane, a food shortage, or even just an emotional crisis, you've been ostracized from your family. You can't possibly go there. Hell, you probably don't even know who your father is. Your neighbor? They don't speak the same language. The church? You spent most of your school time learning about how that's all bigoted nonsense. So like many of your peers, no one really attends or donates anymore. So you're stranded without your culture, without your community, without your church or your family. The only thing you can rely on is the state. The state will build you housing. They'll give you a meal to eat and a job. With the rise in terrorism, all the garbage cans are gone, so you can pick up rubbish for the state. What about a shoulder to cry on? Well, next election, the Liberals can run on a platform of hiring more state councillors and expanding the Mental Health Bureau. You'll be okay because of the state. They want to be the most integral thing to your life. Who needs welfare offices when people's families are together and the community will pitch in to help? 
Who needs an expanding state when you have a close-knit community pitching in to voluntarily help expand that society? You wonder why the EU hates Poland, why they hate Britain and the Slavic nations who sing their anthems with pride? It's because national identity leads to nations and unique groups of people wanting their own unique future. And they want to allocate resources to those they know will return the favor. There's a reason Angela Merkel throws away the German flag when she's handed it. Because you can't all hold hands and go down the same path under one European government if you all have different ideas about how to live, or how to independently rule yourselves, or what language you should speak and what values you should have. You can be or have whatever skin color, hair color, or gender you want, but you can't have any culture or community to rely on if you are a slave to the state. And this is why Sweden proudly touts from their government project Twitter account that we don't believe in God and we trust state more than family. They do that because they want it to be true. Power always wants to expand. But I truly hope that people will realize sooner than later that the warm comfort of loving parents, spouses, and siblings cannot be replaced by cold bureaucracy. That blind loyalty and trust in the state cannot give one purpose or meaning like the role of a community or a culture can. The only people this future benefits is the bureaucrats who want to control your life. Don't let them.